hello guys welcome to a brand new video and today i'm going to be showing you how you can turn this to this all right so i'm going to make it as simple as possible because i know as photographers as retouchers we often encounter challenges where you know the edges of the hair are standing out like this and you need to blend it and um, i'm just going to show you some few tips on how you can do that. so just watch this video to the end and um, see you right inside all right so welcome to a brand new video uh, I will try as much as possible to you know post content um, this year but I, I want you to bring up suggestions I don't really like to post whatsoever is already popular out there I want to bring out something you know new breakdown things as little as possible so that everyone can understand so today i'm going to be showing you how i edited this image from looking like this to this so let's get right into it so i'm going to trash this layer and we're going to start so the first thing i want to understand is that first um most challenges you have like this when it comes to hair retouching all right some of them are caused by the fact that maybe the hair um, the net that they used in the hair is not the same color with the skin because the way it ought to be it ought to blend with the color of the skin it's supposed to look seamless so if you see this edge standing out then there's something wrong all right so there are different ways some people do it and at the end of the day it doesn't look as real as possible because the idea of installing a frontal wig is that it's supposed to look as it is it's supposed to look as if it is the real hair it's supposed to look natural look as if it is part of the head all right now you're not supposed to see this net netish thing it's supposed to just look natural blend into it so how do you do that all right so that's what we are going to go into and then there are sometimes that it is caused by um um maybe the gum of the front is already wearing out and then you begin to you begin to see um the the um, list standing up and all that so I'm just going to show you how you can fix this really quick all right so the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to create a frequency separation so when we create the frequency separation I use the retouching Academy panel so I'm going to click on via Gaussian blur all right so now the Gaussian blur radius you're going to use is going to be very low because we want to try and blend this as much as possible so I'm going to use a Gaussian blur radius of say four a very low gaussian blur radius and i'll press ok so look at what i'm going to do next then i'll turn off my eye texture layer take my mixer brush all right and then i'm going to make sure sample all layers it's check 30 30 20 20 that's my brush settings and um the brush i'm using this soft round brush so now if i'm going to brush see this is where the trick comes so if i'm going to brush let me just quickly switch to a normal brush to, to to explain something to you so now the thing is that we're on the color layer right now you can see that there's a difference between the color of the skin here and the color of the net so we want to blend it that you know there will be a smooth transition we don't want this edge to be obvious we want it to we want the gradient to be smoother so in order to be smoother what we are going to do is that our brush to stroke is going to be in this kind of direction such that we are brushing down brushing up brushing down brushing up so when we do like that you realize that you are able to smooth out the edge all right then you know just the, you see the way I'm, I'm doing it it's going to be more like that you're going to be brushing in and out like this all right and then you know that's how you'll be able to achieve that smooth transition so i'm going to go into it right now all right so now let's see i'll take my mixer brush okay i already told you the settings and i'm going to begin to brush so don't go to don't go in too much you're just around this area around that middle point you just want to brush and blend the the edge you want to make sure that there's a smooth transition between the list of the fronter and um the skin all right so something more like this yes you can see that that place looks funny yes that's because we're still on this um color layer so if i turn on my texture 
it's going to look more like this so let me zoom out a bit so you can take a look so it's going to look more like this all right you can see it so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to come to the high texture layer i'll take my close time tool and i'm going to sample all right i'm going to sample the skin and then i'm going to be brushing in like this in order to smoothen out that edge okay so i didn't do this other side but you know just the same technique i'm just want to use this to explain it to you all right so i will just if i was going to do it i'll still brush this way but i will use a smaller brush so that i don't mess up the hair so because the hair is far at this point that's why i use the bigger brush but yeah i may use a smaller brush and um so i don't mess up the um the hair so now that i've done this you have solved half of the problem so we have been able to achieve the blending but then the, you know you can obviously see that there's a shift there's a color shift there's a you know the, the the color of this place is looking somehow so what we're going to do because you can see that down here they have some yellowish tint and here and brighter here is a bit you know darker and this side has yellowish you know um undertone and all of that so we're going to fix that to do that we're going to use the selective color we'll come to the red of the setup selective color all right so we'll come to the selective color we're just going to add some yellow to the selective color and then we're going to add some bit of red not too much just some yellow and then brighten it a bit so once we have this i'm going to press ctrl i and then take my brush and then i'm going to brush on this area i'm going to just brush faintly on this area so you can see now so i can just double click on this and feather my mask so now let's look at this before and after you can see how that color that selective color i did you know matched you know help to maintain that area so now if you look at where we're coming from this is the before and this is the after so if you zoom out a bit i don't want to show you the image so that's why i'm not zooming way out because i've not released the images yet so you can see so this is the before and this is the after so you can see how you can fix the front and away you know if we zoom out all all the way out now you will see that it will not be very obvious it's going to look very very natural see if it is part of the head all right so that's how you can fix you know the frontal issues of your subject all right so guys if you love this video please like and drop a comment in the comment section all right and then tell me what you like to see next um please watch out on my page i'm going to be doing a retouching challenge all right i just shot some new set of dope images and i would like to share and see um what people are going to come up with in their own retouches so uh, maybe another time I'll show you how you can fix a problem like this Okay, let's just do it as a bonus. Okay, so let's have the bonus So now another thing you can see as a problem with this image. All right, is that this cap? This region, let me just show you This region They are excessively bright and if i'm going to edit this i'm going to try and fix them so in order to fix them what you just do is to click on burn and then take your brush and then begin to burn those areas so make sure you use a small brush you know this technique is what we call corrective burning because you are burning the image and but you are using a technique um you are you're trying to correct an error that you do not like in the image so it's corrective burning so i'm just doing it in a hurry because i want to just show you the tip so this is before you can see that's how you can fix those areas that are excessively bright so i may also burn some areas just to make sure you know under the hair looks really really good and um, everything just looks very very natural and um what have you so so that's that for this video so like and subscribe